All right, welcome back to some Remnant 2. We're going to do one more zone before we actually move on with, uh, like, main story quest line. So we're at the council chamber. We're going to check it out, see what's happening around here. It's already, you can see there's, like, three paths. Place off to the side, up ahead, and to the left. This dude's over there. So let's go... We'll go left first. I mean, we could go straight up, but... I saw somebody over here, so I'm going to figure I might as well go this way. Come. Pretty easy so far. Just a couple double taps, bring them down. It's much easier than when we first got into this whole place. You know, we've upgraded our guns a couple times, and I think that's really making a difference. Plus, I mean, on the whole, I've gotten more hello, more used to the play style again. Hey, buddy. We're just going to go ahead and activate our trait, bam, start unloading really hard into him. Followed by our ability, does a lot of damage, and he's gone. Switch the pistol. Yep, he's going to dodge that first shot. Yep, and you can kind of just aim it at them and then watch them, like, dodge away. He's... Ah, yeah, of course. Move in. I forgot I got that axe. We're going to move in quick. Nice. Ready? Get ready to dodge this attack, just like that. And then finish him off. Good deal. Oh, here we go. Start shooting him, drop him down. Anybody else? Oh, there's a dude there. Oh, he's different. Hi. You like a caster friend, huh? Are you... You're pretty sturdy. Are you like an elite? Or... Dodge? Move in close. One, two, three. Then we'll finish with the axe. Good. Oh, we'll make sure we're fully reloaded. He was an elite. Interesting. Okay, so there's all these... Things... Oh, hello. Where? Oh, he's right there. There's another one. All right, let's get him. Bang, bang, bang. Dodge over that. There we go. I wonder if I shoot his hand if that's good. Oh, ah, it's too slow. I was kind of thinking about things and then I... Oh, I just want to axe. Huh. Okay. Back in here, focusing. So, I mean, I think this alteration is just kind of like a play on the whole idea of the Seely, Unseely Quartz and like Fey mythology. I will, my first thought was it was some kind of puzzle, but I don't think it is. I bet you could put something on here. Maybe not. Huh. Lots of chairs. Definitely like a chamber. Also, if I'm kind of sniffly, I'm really sorry. I'm getting some kind of a cold thing that I'm having to fight off, and I do not like it. It's messing up my nose a lot. But there's nothing else here, so let's check another path. Oh, yeah. I hear some dudes. Yeah, I saw his wings, too. Do shotguns, because we're going to be pretty close. Make sure there's nobody on the left. And then we move in quick and fast. Bam, bam. Go ahead and try and get him with the axe. Dodge. Oh, we're a little early on the dodge, but the charge attack. Dodge again. Get him. We got the shotgun out and ready to get for this dude. As soon as he goes to charge at us, down he goes. Pretty solid fight. We took a hit in there. Ooh, Tome of Knowledge. It's pretty big. ah -ya! Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Ooh. Thank you, guys keep sneaking up on me i like don't hear them coming at all and i wish those things would like auto dismiss because they're kind of annoying uh-huh all right let's get him oh no kind of liking the axe i like it does decent damage and it's pretty quick oh it's a little early ah there's the archer dudes those guys are pretty gnarly anybody else on this side we're still on fire for a long time there we go. Ouch. Now, I, I've considered, like, just letting myself do the diehard trait kind of early instead of, like, using my healing right away. But I feel like I should just save it for emergencies, basically. I gotta make sure our shotgun is reloaded, too, so it's ready to go. There's another flyer. Hi, we're just gonna use a pistol because it's actually got the range to deal with him. Keeping it calm and cool. I'll tell you, this, uh... And just shockwave him now. Shockwave him? There it goes. Ugh. There's a little bit of a delay on, like, or the, like, recovery between some of my actions so I could, like, actually use my ability. But I was gonna say that the, uh, the challenger is doing me pretty good, actually. These hallways and stuff work really well for us, like, when we're actually in a dungeon. Enemies are typically getting pretty close. The corridors are pretty small, so my shotgun is not really having any issues with, um, range or anything. So it works out pretty well. Alright. Or. Oh, hello. 
Dodge. Dodge. Get in some attacks like this. Dodge. Oh, I was too early. Or too late, actually. I went for too many attacks and I shouldn't have. Good. Get ready to dodge again. Here we go. Maybe. Nice. Easy enough. Getting it down. Once you get that combat down, it is very satisfying. You just kind of kind of keep it calm and collected. Every action matters, right? You can't just be doing things willy-nilly. There we go. Good hit. Shoot him in the butt. Oh, there we go. You know what I haven't checked yet is to see if I can upgrade my armor. Because I remember being able to upgrade armor before. So I'd like to check that. Oh, hi. Owie. Oh. No. Oh, yeah, that was really unfortunate. They got me in a, like, freaking stun lock. And then, of course, my diehard kills them course definitely got to clear corners before you just like fully go in and make a decision there we go dummy reloading quick anybody else hey how's it going oh he did a big leap i wasn't ready for that there we are come on watching out. I hear more dudes on the right, so I need to watch out for some arrows and stuff. Oh, there he is. We're gonna activate this now. Start burning into him. See if we can't finish him off like that. Dodge. Oh, some of the, like, stuff around us is helping to protect against his attacks. Charge attack. Nice. One more shot. Easy. There we go. Oh, that was rough. Alright. Go ahead and make sure this is reloaded. Next time we get like a swarm of guys, we need to make sure we can use our lightning ball. We got regeneration here, which is good. Hopefully nobody decides to show up and hit us in the back. All right. Oh, and there's some iron stuff there. Got to make sure I pick that up. All right, let's look at the map real quick. This is just going to drop us down leading the same way. So I didn't check that way. I wonder if that's going to be like a shortcut, like we circle around and then this is kind of where the end's at. And then we can like open up a shortcut right there or something. Oh, ah, yeah. I knew you gotta check. I talked about checking corners before you try to go and do anything. And what did I do? I just go look at a corner before actually clearing the other side. Oh, hey, big boy. Somebody else behind us. Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, oh. Dodging. Activate our tree. Nope. Our mod power is not ready. Chop him up. Oh. Nope. We need to activate our power. Oh. We need to get in some distance. <clears throat> sprint. 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 Create some distance. We need to heal. Do it. Dodging that. We need to heal now. Come on. And then roll. Activate our shockwave. Got both of them. That's awesome. Now we just got the big guy. Wherever he's at. Find us. There we go. Oh, there's another stupid archer boy. Anybody else? Ooh. Uh, that got a little close. Wait, what does this do? Oh, it's another healing team. But there's somebody else there. Like, I... No, I didn't go this way yet. Right? No, no, no. This is a new way. Okay. I didn't realize I actually progressed further into the level. That could have been really bad. I thought I was moving backwards and backtracking. If we had actually progressed and then bumped into more guys, that would have gotten us killed. Uh, but one thing to note, that actually cured that curse effect on us, which is pretty cool. Thanks. All right, here we are. Bang, bang. Somebody else there on the right. Nice. Reload now gonna be any more flying guys let's see oh hello friends shockwave now boom got both of those guys all right wow this is this is really cool looking though i mean this whole style is really awesome it's kind of castle-y autumn feel with like fey type stuff very cool looking very cool big open sky which freaks me out a little bit because i mean if there's actual like flying guys they're gonna be able to just like swoop in from anywhere right 
Oh yeah, I thought I saw somebody in there. Oh, coming from behind us now. Move forward, just like that. Dodge him. Dodge roll again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Nice. Okay, reload now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where? Jeez. Oh, that was quick draw shooting him. Anybody else? Oh, I aggroed somebody. We're going to activate this. Drop it. And then bang, bang, bang. Wouldn't swap to here. Dodge. Oh, I was too slow in the dodge. One. Oh, we just keep laying into him. Try and drop him. Oh. There we go. Nice. We've got one heal left. It's a little worrisome. We're going to reload now. Let's go ahead and heal it up. We don't have our die hard back yet, so. Gotta be careful. There he is. Dang. So they probably flew out the window. That's how they circled behind me. Chop, chop. I don't know where you came from. That's a little worrisome. Like that. Wait, so what is the point of this place? Like, I came all the way over here. I'm not seeing anything. Right? Oh no, there is another path. Okay. For a second, I thought this was like a dead end, which would be really weird because I don't, they typically don't do that. Like, I don't remember ever, like, going somewhere and being like, wow, this is just a dead end. Some kind of equipment. There's got to be somebody floating around, right? Nobody? Ring of the Robust. Sounds pretty cool. Let's check it out. So right now we've got... Oh, we oh we can have a bunch of the rings on. Oh, you used to only be able to have two on before. That's so cool. And so it's going to increase our max health by 10 and armor by 15. That's pretty awesome. Works really well for us because we are being pretty tanky. <clears throat> We're going to check out down here before we actually move forward. Ooh, this looks like a room. There could be some guys. Nobody? Okay. It's been This game has been doing that to me, like... <clears throat> There'll be, like, stretches where there's nobody, and it really weirds me out. It just doesn't feel natural. What is that? I can't tell if that's, like, a thing, a doorway. Like, that's a magical starry doorway, the council chamber. So now we've got ourselves a little shortcut of some kind. Where does it take us? <clears throat> okay, so yep, there's the shortcut back into main area i don't know that i want to use this yet okay magic mirror very cool looking let's go check out the other way first and then we'll come back Ooh, okay so this must be like the actual council chamber right hmm. what a curious petitioner you are not of the fey nor of the denizens of this new world ah Contrary, Onaril. Hmm. Its rules differ for Fey and non. Fey law applies to all within the One True King's domain. Oh boy. <clears throat> Step up to the so I did have this thought. They mentioned it. So they said like, "Oh, you're not of the Fey, nor of the the not Fey in this new world." So I did have this thought when I was like, you know, looking through some of my recordings and stuff when we went through Ironboro. Those guys didn't actually seem like the Fae, you know? Like, originally I was thinking, like, oh, they're just, like, a lower or lesser Fae. But really, it did seem like, instead, they were they, they were in their own world. And then either, like, the Fae bordered on their own or, you know, they opened a doorway into it. And then they were just, like, taking people from it. Especially when you consider some of the journals in, like, the Great Hall. And they talk about some, like, new meat, some new thing they could, like, take from yeah all right well, let's see what they have to say it's, i mean it's a pretty cool chamber <clears throat> hi Hail, stranger. oh i am Savon, speaker of the one true king's council state your nature and business for the record please your nature yes what are you exactly You're drawn yeah the drawn well they call themselves <clears throat> The Dran, are you? Um, I'm human from Earth. Neither Fey nor Dran. How very curious. I don't really want to tell more about, tell more about this, Earth, uh, because that's a dangerous to be old. Time. 
the Fae have more imperative matters that require our attention. Oniril speaks true. Please, Petitioner, briefly state your business before the Council. Um, I'm looking for my friend. Your friend is here. Now. How distressing. Perhaps I mean, I honestly, I don't know that they're actually in this world. Or have you forgotten the rather large problem yet undealt with starting with what lies beyond this very door? Oh, what is it? I have not forgotten, Oniril. But as we are at a standstill, I thought to turn our attention to something more refreshing for the time being. Sadly, our resources must be devoted to the troubles at hand, Nael. Petitioner. Well, what do you guys need help with? You know, maybe we can do a little bargainy deal here, tit for tat. Uh, yeah, what are these troubles you're having? I'm sorry, I'll go now. Come on, man. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fae have far more important concerns than you before us. Oniril speaks true, but a thought occurred to me. Perhaps yeah, there you go. See, she's got the right idea. Be of use to us. Our kingdom has been thrust into chaos. You don't say. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by someone on this council, no less. But we know not who. <laughs> you will accede. Fay law allows an independent party to aid our investigation. Perhaps your eyes can bring clarity where our trust has failed. Do you accept? Uh, yeah, I need some more information first. That is wise. You are under no commitment unless and until you choose to make an accusation. All right. That said, should you come across sufficient evidence, you are permitted, within certain conditions, to accuse one of those seated here. And this body just accuse the one dude because he's a jerk <laughs> uh what happened what happened that needs my investigation a great tragedy stranger for eons the fae and this council has faithfully served the one true king but alas his rule has been curtailed yeah the imposter failing or failing or whatever he calls himself now placed the king <laughs> in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken interesting king was attacked in his own chambers behind this very door the imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council okay but of course we all had our alibis as you can imagine none of us were here this has been proven many times so i wonder if there is a way he could have gotten in without one of them tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter and fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yeah, I mean, yet he'll have to go. Step, and a necessary one toward restoring. Which is what Nemea had asked us to do as well. Uh, you said I'm permitted to accuse under certain conditions. Well, easily is a loose term. Discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. Okay. And why do you need an independent party? We do not. This fast does nothing. Peace, Oneril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. Okay, all right, yeah. So, either of you any excuse to remove me from the council. I mean, you're kind of you being a jerk. You wish to hold half the council's power yourself, Unreal. You cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world, either of these worlds. So any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves. All right, and um. Why would one of you have aided the imposter? We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power, trying to poison our minds against the one true king. He only said what we wanted to hear. Did he one of us listen? Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Oh, yeah. Is that an admission of guilt, Nael? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths. Yeah, there probably were 
problems with their like court and stuff and he just like kind of draw uh, drew their attention to it you know and then just use that as a way to like you know convince him on his side must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fae. Hmm. Okay. No, oh, Jesus. There's so many questions. Ugh. How was he put to sleep? Alas, we do not know. Okay, have you, like, investigated? No wound. That we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. Oh, did that. your request, Onoriel. Okay. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might So I guess I'll get to investigate it, maybe, right? They were indeed, and the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him, and many have tried. All right. I, what can you tell me about the one true king? The king has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. has always been a guiding force. I read a little lore story thing that I think was about him, and he seems very fickle, as any true fairy would be. So, in the previous game, it it mentioned that like um there were like creatures or beings in each of the worlds that were like integral to their safety and protection and stuff and like with their death or destruction corruption something that the world would then become vulnerable and open to corruption from the outside like the route to invade and stuff so i wonder if that's why he is so important is because he's basically that thing for this world and so with him being like weakened and asleep and stuff they're much more vulnerable hmm. uh why can't you wake him of course how could we have been so blind dummy dude i did i didn't ask like why don't you wake him i asked why can't you or did i say why don't you because that would it would be kind of stupid so i'd say why can't you the imposter's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone all mm -hmm. the more reason to identify the conspirator among us okay and um, what can you tell me about the imposter they care nothing for the welfare of the fey nor those of us who serve the fey nor for the law so why does why does anybody reason, follow him the imposter's plan should never have been carried out yeah so if all three of you agree he was wrong then does the conspirator need to be found? Because that's, I mean, like, I agree that there probably should be some punishment meted out for whoever did it. But at the same time, like, if you're all kind of on the same page and maybe they're all like, yeah, he is terrible, maybe you just need to, like, accept that and move on. And what then? Continue to work with these traitors? No. Yeah, but of course you don't want to work with somebody you can't trust. I mean, that makes sense. And how do you know you can trust me? Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of accusing any one of us which is why there's going to be conditions and when evidence is produced yeah we alone will pronounce the final judgment and if that evidence has been falsified tainted, i mean how do i know i don't know you have to check it paid this interloper to act on your behalf unreal only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself not everyone seeks power at any cost <sighs> very well i will judge it when i see it I trust no one, but I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. All right, yeah, I guess I should be going. Good. It would be nice if they would let me into the king's chamber so I could see what's happening. Um, all right, so I guess I'm looking for evidence to, like, fix whatever the heck they got going on there. Interesting. Not what I was expecting in that room, but okay. Uh, let's go through the magic mirror now. Is that just a reflection of what's behind me, or is that kind of looks like what's around us but at the same time it looks a little different too maybe huh 
Here we go. Oh, all right. I thought maybe there would be a little animation thing of me touching it, but it literally was just like fade to black. Okay, so checkpoint. So council tribunal. What do you mean in combat? Okay, can I open this? Nope. Oh, shit. Okay, dodging. Let's get rid of him. Charge attack. Nice. All right. What's this say? Oh, is there going to be some evidence? The Nara and the Jabak. Interesting story. Basically, the bird was a jerk and lied and tricked the Nara thing. And so the Nara ate the Jabak's eggs. Hmm. Interesting. What did say the moral story was? Uh, trust cannot be eaten, but the untrustworthy can. So, there you go. Do more reading? I'm not ready to do more reading, bro. Uh. Oh, hello. Anybody else? I feel like there's probably more, right? Nope. Okay. Oh, no, there they are. I heard you that time. Come on. Come on out. I'm sure once I start to try and read this journal again, it's going to, like, mess you up. Uh, gloaming thoughts of the one true king. Words and thoughts of the one true king. Protection of blah, blah, blah. Oh, as to inscribe by Laywise the scribe. So if something should have befall me, blah, 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 I will say it plain. The Fae are not fit to rule. I do not speak from hubris or contempt. It is a simple fact. If the Fae were to rule the Fae, chaos and destruction would inevitably follow. They are a volatile decoction, most suited for entropy and act best when guided towards some predefined purpose. As their eternal protector and the guardian of this world, I knew it, he's a guardian, it is my life's duty to provide the world safe harbor from both external threats and from the Fae themselves. It is my duty to protect the Fae from their own worst proclivities. I recorded these thoughts, then, as a history of the Fae for the Fae's own sake, for no being exists who knows them and loves them as I. Uh, who, my goodness. And there are others. A council member who would murder the other two if she thought she could get away with it. The mixed child and his mother when safely subjugated one who i fear will never be the advisor who plots against me even now even knowing such plots are in vain given half a chance any of these would grind their brethren beneath their heel these of all the fame must remain closest to me at all times interesting so any more oh my god there are more Duh. all right so it's one of the two female ones i guess the mixed child and his mother. So I guess one of them is a mother. So whoever's the mother of that uh, pretender, that he must be, that must be the the one. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so basically he he was like the protector for the world and was created around the same time as the Fae or like before them, but, you know, in the same sort of span of time or something. Uh, and then he took an interest in them and realized that, like, the Fae left unchecked would kind of, like, destroy everything because they're just short-sighted, capricious kind of creatures. And so, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, not much more to say about it. You kind of saw the one main piece. He keeps those he distrusts the most close to him, so, like, his council members and stuff. And it seems like that, uh, usurper was, like, his closest counselor maybe because that was the one he distrusted the most so yeah interesting <laughs> okay so back into the council chamber but an alternate reality there's a bad guy in the water he's an elite oh and there's a bunch of dudes we're gonna pull him back this way into the choke point Sw oh drop there we go moving out activate this now maybe shockwave There we go. Ow. I do have my indomitable or diehard thing left, so I'm not too worried about it if I drop, so I'm going to play pretty aggressive here if I can finish reloading. There we go. All right. Not bad. There's got to be something up here, or maybe we can get into the king's chambers like this. That would be interesting. No? Okay. Huh. Okay. High Counselor Savon's key. High Counselor Neelius Key. 
and High Counselor Onoril's key. All right, so let's see. We probably need all three to open the way to the King's Chamber. So let's see if it says anything. The council, is alone, council alone is allowed to enter the chamber of the one true king at will. The reason for this is simple. The king watches them at all times, curious to see what they will do with the privilege. Okay. About that one. Look the same? Pretty much. Slightly different symbol though, right? Eyeball thing. What does this one look like? Okay. So now we should be able to get into the king's room. No, we can't. Maybe because it's a mirror world. So we have this. Maybe if we go back into the actual world, then we can go in. But if they're, like, watching, I mean, I don't think it's good. we're going to be able to just, like, walk on in, you know? So let's see if we can go back over here to the right. Or is that door closed, too? Seems closed. Huh. All right, so they still have keys on their pedestals. All right. Don't mind me, guys. Just doing your job, I guess. Oh, I still can't open it. Interesting. So where could I take those keys? Can I go somewhere over there to the right? I don't think there was anywhere for me to go there, right? It was just that big kind of like, I guess not a council chamber. It looked a little bit like a chapel. Huh. Do they have, can I go down here? Can I touch their keys? Wait. Oh, I thought that one dude was on the right. I guess maybe I had them out of order. Oh, wait a second. Oh, maybe they were in the wrong order in the mirror world. Okay. So it needs to be diamond eye flower. Okay. Let's try that. Dude, that lightning ball does so much work. Like, that just wiped out some dudes, man. That's a good one. For as miserable as that boss fight was, that mod has done me some good work. Okay, let's put this in the right order, right? So this one should be diamond, right? Savan. And then... It's eye and then flower, right? So that which one is that one? Uh, Onoril. And then Neil. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, that's not what I expected him to look like. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Okay. We're going to climb up this. Something up there. Oh, the Assassin's Seal. Okay. Maybe there's something on it. Reduce enemy awareness range by 25% and increases all damage dealt to enemies not targeting the wearer by 10%. It's pretty solid. Uh, so it's unclear how much of this ring retains its original color and how much has become stained with age or perhaps the ambiguity is intentional making it different things to different people it is said truly that no weapon forged or wielded by the fey can kill the one true king what the imposter realized however is that one does not need to kill a king in order to depose him okay so that i mean we got that i understand that Huh, is there any other kind of clue to, like, help us here? All right, anything else in here to, like... Oh, yeah, there's something on his back. There we go. What is this? An assassin's dagger. All right, what's that say? It's hard to believe so small a weapon could have such a profound effect. A small purple jewel is set into the hilt carved with an elegant mirrored flower-like symbol. Yeah. By the deepest of fey law and magic, the one true king could not be harmed by any weapon forged and wielded by the fey. This law could be 
could not be circumvented, no matter how some might try. We found another way, however. So it's got the symbol of, what's her name? I gotta double check her name because I <laughs> I can't keep them straight at all. Interesting. But was it actually her or was she, oh crap, was she framed, you know? I wouldn't put that past uh, some of them is to like play around with that so that it seemed like it was her. Ah, shit. Dodge. There we go. Dodge. Dodge back. Oh, shit. Gun. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and heal up now. Oh, wait, there's something else over there. There's a chest. I really like that they added the chests onto the map because you could so easily miss things if you're not, like, truly watching. Like, I nearly missed that. All right, let's accuse somebody. <laughs> Hopefully this goes okay. Nah, man, I, I got I got answers. I have news. Why do you suddenly seem much more quiet? You must have evidence, new evidence, to support your claim. The penalty for frivolous accusations against the council is steep. It is death, foreigner. At least for you. Swift and easy. Yeah, how would you do it, though? To make an accusation according to our laws. Yep, I'm prepared. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Then speak. Who among us aided the imposter? Oh, look at that. It, it put little symbols to help us out. That was really nice of them. Because they could have totally left it off and been like, good luck, hopefully you remember. <laughs> she hated the imposter. Of all on this council, you would accuse me? Perhaps you misunderstand your task. Or the consequence <laughs> of failure. No, believe me, I'm not uh -uh. doing it mildly, Let's you know. Find out, Do you have proof, foreigner, of what I have already yeah, I'm sure you did suspect it. Is it tr oh, interesting. I need no proof. My job is to accuse. My proof is that you stand to gain the most from the one true king's current state. Like, I, there's no... How do you I know that? Give the dagger. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! So what if I did it? Oh. You both know the king was a tyrant. He cared nothing for the Fae or our law. So you took the law into your own hands. So she basically admitted it there. Okay. The law even now, if you could only see past your pompous face, you could see that we had the opportunity to create a better world. With that imposter on the throne? Hardly. We do not make the law on our own, Leo. We are guided by emotion. You realize it's so quiet. Both fey law and our trust. I must now face the consequences. Is she gonna get axed? Oh. Bummer. So would I have had to fought like three of them at once? <laughs> well, that's done with. I must say, I am already breathing easier. You are too quick to joy, Amil. Nael was an excellent counselor. Yeah. And an excellent roadblock to justice. Our path forward is clearer without her. Dear foreigner, a small thank from the council. Of course, what have you got for me? Ooh, a new weapon. We have much work to do. All right, nice. And we leveled up. Very cool. All right, let's see what the weapon is and what our level up is. I don't know what we got. What do we uh close quarters got upgraded nice right okay that's cool I, mean, I should probably try this juggernaut one again like i don't know man i just the war stomp is so you get two charges and it does a good amount of damage intricately forged long blade the first the, the, the forsaken prince's past has only hardened his personality like tempered steel his father imperious and immortal his mother strong yet bitter it is a miracle he survived to adulthood at all and that he is not slaughtered more along the way. Interesting. So is this supposed to be like the imposter's freaking sword? 
Whoa. That's pretty cool. Does it say it has like some other kind of damage to it? A minus five on stagger. Oof. Designed to keep stronger enemies at bay. All right, so I'm back in the council chamber zone. Uh, this is much later, right? It's another one of those where I've gone back after the fact. Uh, we're in this big chapel-like section right here, and I always thought it had something, some other kind of secret secret to it, and I just never really messed with it. Uh, but I did start to see, right? If you shoot the lights, see they shift. So I'm going to mess around with that for a while, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, got all of this side light. Now we'll do this side. All right, it opened a door. see what we got okay oh hello Ooh, good shot dude good try good try yeah 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 all right Ooh, there's an item here okay oh yeah yeah screw you nice a white pawn stamp. Oh, more dudes. Dodge back. Charge attack in. Both of them gone. Here comes another dude. Dodge back. I was a little early. Let me just chop him down. Anybody else? Oh, yeah, I hear him. Drop one of these, and then we'll just kind of back around the corner and let them walk into us. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Uh... Is that it? Anybody else? All right, let's look at that ring now. White pawn stamp. There it is. The Fae love their games, and cheating is not as frowned upon as one might think. Rings like this are coveted as an indication of who played best. Everything is a game to the Fae, and life itself is but the greatest and most terrible, the game for which the stakes are the highest. It is in this context that one should know the Fae play to win. That's a really cool looking ring. I, that's something else I gotta say, man. Some of the like items they have, like, have amazing just like art to them and designs, and you can look at them and there's just amazing detail on them. It's really awesome. But it reduces mod power requirement by 10%, which is pretty cool. I mean, like, look at look at this one, right? Look at the cool little etchings on the interior, the little faceted light reflections on there. There's another one, like, um, Oh, which other one has some really cool design to it? I mean, all of them do. Like, it's just just good, awesome, like, art to them all. It's really awesome. I like it. Yeah, there we go. So we did, we opened up one way. Now let's see if we can open up the other way. I just got to make everything uh, dark flame. Oh, no, it won't let me change them anymore. Oh, bummer. Okay, so I guess you get to pick, and then that's it. So, huh. I would like to, huh, I kind of want to, like, rest, come back, and see if it opens up anymore. Hmm. Oh, uh, it looks like they're still, yep. Oh, man. So, I guess if you want to get the other item, and I should, I kind of suspected this would be the way, but you'll have to get this zone again. So, you'll roll in adventure mode. And then try and find this place again. Right? And then once you see it, know that you've done the other way. So you gotta unlock it by doing the other thing. And that's how a lot of, like, the various items that have, like, multiple choices on are gonna be unlocked. Because sometimes you have to, like, pick and choose how you want to unlock things. Certain bosses are gonna have 
different items or mods and stuff to unlock based on how you beat them. So you have to roll in adventure mode, make a new one, try and find them, and then complete the challenge the way you need. Well, that's cool. I'm glad we finished that one out. I'll do another like quick little sweep of the whole area and make sure I didn't like miss something else kind of obvious. Why am I not? I can't control. Lost control of my character. All right. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else for me to get here. Uh, there is technically one area. So back behind the council, guys, I haven't been through there technically, but I don't think I can get in there right now. I think if I want to have access to that, I'm going to have to basically do this, you know, scenario over again and play it out a different way or do some other shenanigans in order to get in there. Just because that that's what it feels like anyways. I have nothing to prove that. It's just what it seems like to me. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that was Council Chambers. Pretty good one. I thought it was fun. And uh, yeah, that's that's it, man. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, take care.